If you've spent any amount of time learning about haplogroups, genealogy, and our lineages, there is the topic of hair that always comes up. African hair has had people classified in different uh, levels, and it starts from the peppercorn to the kinky, you know, all the way to the tight curls. And then we are grouped according to the hairstyle. And I never understood how that makes any sense. So attributing this peppercorn hair only to the queer people and twa people, it makes it seem like some of us don't have it or the rest of us don't have it or Bandus don't have it or other African ethnic groups don't have it. But the reality for most of us is that our hair does start here. And the only difference between that hair and this one is that this one is you know, constantly brushed and combed out and, you know, manipulated even at this height. This is just unmanipulated hair. When you manipulate it, it becomes this. The more you manipulate our type of hair, it becomes softer and it kind of changes the curl pattern. Again, that's manipulation, whether you are keeping it in a protective style, whether you are putting shea butter and twisting it and putting it into Bantu knots, it's manipulation. And so it removes it from the peppercorn state. And so what people have done is they've categorized people's hair by saying that, let's, let's say, see how my texture has changed now? It's a little softer. It, when it was short, it was very hard. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. When it's short, and it's got, you know, the little kink, uh, curls on it, little kinks, it's very hard. When you manipulate it, you braid it, it becomes soft, which is why it's important to not say that there are Africans with this hair or there's Africans with that hair. It is all about whether it is being manipulated, brushed, or not. This is my son's hair over a decade ago. He's going to be 17 now, but he was probably like six over here but that's his hair on a day that was probably lightly brushed or just a comb ran through and then he was swimming and it just goes back into the kinks of but as soon as you brush it it becomes a different type of you know hair really it looks like it but it's still the same hair Again, the so-called peppercorn hair, as you can see it here, not only is it, you know, it's bigger than peppercorn, you can see that as it gets thicker and it gets bigger and it gets combed, it becomes what you call kinky hair. So there should be no characterization on I have this hair or I have that hair because it doesn't mean anything.